Three more ramen? Of course it's three more ramen. All right, so first off, we have chashu ramen. Uh, chashu is a yummy slice of pork, uh, and this has three slices of pork. We'll see how those taste. Uh, it has a shoyu soup. All right, let's try this pork. <sighs> nice, salty, and savory, meaty broth, but let's try that chashu. That's the star of the show. Here's one of them. Looks like a big old pepperoni, but brown. Not bad. Usually meat in instant ramen tastes like jerky. This is like that, but it actually does have like a kind of porky, slightly fatty quality to it. It has a good pork flavor. Still obviously kind of jerky-ish, but pretty good. I mean, definitely a step above like some of these meat things that appear, appear in these ramen. I wish there was more. There's only three, three of these uh, pork discs in in the ramen, um, but they're pretty solid. All right, let's try the broth. That's really solid shoyu broth. Usually shoyu broth is like one note, but this actually has like almost like a tangy quality. It's like salty soy sauce and savory, but a little bit tangy and a little bit meaty and fatty. Like it has that kind of like, whatever that shit is, like fat in the packet that you mix in there. Sounds disturbing, but it's pretty tasty. So it gives it a little more depth than just a flat instant soy sauce broth. If you can take a closer look, there's a brown broth and then look at these big old pepperonis. Uh, but they're kind of brown. Uh, you can see little veggies here and there. This is solid. I just wish that they added more meat. Like how expensive can a fucking pepperoni disc be really? It's an instant dried pepperoni thing. Just throw like 10 of them in there, then I'll be happy. But um, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, you can even see like the fat on that. Like that's pretty impressive. Actual fat on a meat disc that's in an instant bowl. I can't really ask for more than that. That's about as good as you can get. All right, well that's pretty damn good. Um. Good start, good start. Thanks, pepperoni discs. All right, here's ramen number two. This is Fujiko Tororo Soba. Fujiko Tororo is shaved kombu made from vinegared kelp, and this soba contains his healthy food. Okay, uh, I like kelp in general. Uh, let's try this vinegar the kelp. There's not a lot of flavor here. Uh, let me try, I found, so there were these strips of kelp and then when I poured the water in, they like dissolved into mush, which maybe I gotta get some of that mush and see if that has some flavor. This is very severely lacking in flavor. Um, let me try the, just the broth on its own. The broth tastes like the slightest flavored miso soy sausage soup, barely. Maybe the kelp needs to dissolve completely. Let me just mix it up a bit more. Yeah, this tastes almost exactly like nothing. Um, as if I just poured water on noodles and lightly salted it. That's what this would taste like. It's like I put a drop of soy sauce in here. Um, wow, this is pretty disappointing. Here's a closer look. Brown broth, <clears throat> brown soba noodles. You can't see the kelp anymore, but basically they were these strips of kelp and when I poured water, they sort of puffed up into like mush and then they just dissolved into the soup. Listen, I can appreciate subtle broths as much as the next guy, but this is so subtle that it almost tastes like water. One last try. No, that's pretty bad. Um, in just terms of flavor, it's just like nothing. It's a nothing soup. All right, and here's ramen number three. This is chuka soba. It's a chicken-based shoyu soup with garlic, ginger, bamboo shoot, and pork. All right, let's try this out. It's got a good salty broth. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, that's meat. I assume the pork. Not bad. Jerky-ish, as usual. The main thing I'm getting out of this initially is like a salty, meaty flavor. Not, not, not as much sweetness as I thought there'd be. Let's try the broth. Yeah, pretty, pretty salty. Like, it's pretty good. The noodles are pretty standard. They're just kind of like whatever. Um, it tastes kind of just like, like Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Like it's that kind of salt, chickeny, salty, meaty flavor. Um, mainly salt. 
Here's a closer look. There's some brown broth. You can see there's little pieces of meat here and there, which do add some some nice flavor here and there. Uh, but yeah, this one like didn't even come with like a powder packet. There's also little chewy pieces of bamboo in here. Um, they kind of suck up the soup, so they're kind of like kind of chewy. Like they don't. They mainly just taste like the broth, which again is very very chicken salty. With that said, chicken salty is pretty satisfying. So it's pretty good. All right, that was three ramen. Bye.